Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Colonel Report. Today, I am talking with Charlie Ludwig. Hello, Charlie. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Appreciate it. Charlie is a junior from Atlanta, Georgia, is the first baseman for the Colonel baseball team. Last season, Charlie was one of two players to play in and start all 53 games in 2021. Charlie hit uh, 280 with 10 doubles, eight home runs, 35 RBIs, and 31 runs scored. So uh, I know the World Series is going on right now, uh, and you're from Atlanta, so I'm going to assume that you're a Braves fan? Um, I'm a big Braves fan, but I'm actually also a, a diehard Astros fan, so okay. it's a little a little difficult. Yeah, it's like it's been my dream World Series, though, for sure. So I've, I've been thinking, I've dreaming about this for a while. Uh, I can't believe it's really happening. My two teams in it. I'm, I've, I've always been a big Braves fan since I was a kid. The first baseball team I played for as a kid was the Hope Mills Braves. So I just traditionally was a Braves fan. And Chipper Jones was the first player I ever saw on TV. And I just kind of traditionally fell in love with the Braves. So, uh, Hopefully it ends up being a pretty good World Series so far. It seems like it, it could be. So, yeah, I want to see a good series. That's all I really care about. Okay, so the first bit we'll we'll do some get to know you questions, just you as a person. Um, and uh, so the first question I have, I always ask this to everybody, is uh, do you have a favorite local restaurant in Richmond? Mm. Um. Gosh, I have a few places. I mean, I love if it's just I'm just trying to go like real quick. I love Don Senor just for really quick, uh, you know, fairly healthy uh, Mexican food. And then. Um, oh, man, I, I love going to B-dubs on Tuesdays. OK, OK. Nothing wrong. Um, so you're studying marketing as your major. Um, what made you choose that particular major for you for yourself um i've just always wanted to do something with like baseball and mlb like that's always been my dream and like if i couldn't play i figured i would want to do something like on the business side or like baseball so like maybe sports marketing like for a professional team would be like ideal for me so that's what that's what I uh, first uh, thought about doing when I was a freshman. And then okay. I took some marketing classes. I ended up liking it. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Um, so do you have a favorite streaming platform like a Netflix, Hulu, anything like that? Uh, I'm big on, I just, I love YouTube. Like I love how it has personalized like videos for you. And okay. um, everything about YouTube is like, uh, I love I love golf, so like I love watching golf videos on there, and it, it puts up like golf and baseball stuff. Like, and I'm I'm locked in on YouTube like every day if I'm if I've got nothing going on, either that or Netflix. I got a few Netflix shows that are I'm enjoying right now. What What would you say is the one you're enjoying the most right now? Uh, I so I'm right now. It's the show You. I was okay. not. I was very skeptical of that show, but um, yeah. my girlfriend got me into it and. And now I'm I'm locked in. I I can't stop watching it. It's it's a pretty crazy show, but uh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's it keeps you on the edge of your seat. It's very entertaining. So mm -hmm. I get that. Um, growing up, how did you get into baseball? Uh, I mean, my dad had a baseball bat <laughs> and a glove in my hand since I I can first remember. Uh, my brother, older brother, he's a couple years older than me, and he was into all the sports and. I mean, baseball is the first sport I think I ever fell in love with ever since I can remember. It's just I've always, like, ever, like probably since I was two years old, I got pictures of me, like, with a baseball bat in my hand and stuff. So I've just, I've just always loved it. It's, just been in the blood, huh? Yeah, my dad didn't play past high school or anything. I don't have much. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad's cousin played uh, college baseball. But other than that, in my family, we don't have any uh, college baseball players and Okay. Um, was there a moment when you were growing up, like, like I mean, obviously, I know you said you've been doing it since you were two years old, but was there a moment in particular that you were like, yeah, this is the sport for me and nothing else really matters other than baseball? Um, 
<clears throat> that I think that happened really early on, like really early on, like in elementary school. Um, I think when I was like in second grade is when I started to really like me and my dad would go to the field every single day. I remember I couldn't hit a home run like on once they, we started doing coach pitch, like where he would throw um, instead of hitting off a tee, like when I was like seven or eight. I remember I couldn't hit a home run and we just, we were there for hours, like every day. And there was a one point where I finally like figured it out. I hit one, I think in batting, like when he was just, we were just working on it. And uh, like, I turned, I told him like, I figured it out. Like, like I got this, I figured it out finally. And ever since then, I just started like, like hitting home runs in that little coach pitch field. And then like, I think ever since then I've been, I started really falling in love with it and figured out that like this is what I want. Okay. So my last rapid fire question, baseball is one of the more superstitious sports out there. Um, is there something that you do during the season that someone might consider superstitious? Um, <clears throat> I think that a lot of my superstitions per se are, like subconscious like I think I, I just do them like I just do them before uh like every pitch like I, I think I like I like go like this before every pitch okay. and, and I like I used to like tap the plate four times and I do the same thing every time I step up to the plate I got the same I got I got an extra pair of batting gloves in my right back pocket every game I, I mean it's I would say superstition but it's like, like routine yeah, like routine and just something to make me feel comfortable. I don't, I don't know about superstition. Now, do you have any teammates that might have done something that some someone might consider superstition? You don't have to tell their name, but maybe just say what they, if there was something. Oh man, I mean, so this is my fourth year now. There've been there's, I mean, especially my freshman year, we had a some a bunch of older guys that were like hilarious and they they had all kinds of superstitions and stuff nothing really comes to mind that i could think of off the bat okay man if i thought about it i could get back to you like <laughs> oh well, no that's fine i know i know i put you on the spot so but there's that's definitely there's definitely stuff like that goes on that are some funny superstitions that's, that's I guess. the only reason i ask because i know baseball has a wild variety of superstitions that people have done over the from just beginning of baseball to now it's just it's kind of crazy yeah i think it's more like the pitchers too because it's mm -hmm. I, I don't know they're just their pitchers are uh generally like a little quirky and go about their business like uh different and like before they throw i know that they have like all kinds of stuff that they do for every single time mm -hmm. and i'm not i'm never in the bullpen with them so it's it's hard but okay um, so we're going to move on to baseball. Um, so it says on the EKA's page that you bo you played both first and third base. Uh, do you prefer first or third, um, one or the other? I mean, I like both uh, spots. I'm, I'm mainly at first base right now, but um, mm -hmm. uh, if I get asked to play third, then I would, I would also love that. Um, I mean, I, I – played a lot of third in high school and coming in okay. um I don't think I was at the level that I needed to be at so I'm they moved me to first and I I took that tried to become the best first baseman that I could and I feel really comfortable over there uh, I got to go back to third base last year and um felt really comfortable there I had a lot of fun and then okay. uh, a couple injuries had me back to first base and that's just kind of where I'm at I mean uh I love both positions and um if I get to play some third, I'll be super ecstatic this year. But um, mm -hmm. I also just, you know, I love first base. I feel so comfortable over there, and it's a lot of fun. So, Okay. So last season, EKU went 21-32 overall and 13-17 and in conference play. I know it, it didn't exactly go the way we wanted it to go, but y'all did have some bright spots. You did beat number 15, Georgia Tech, and number seven, Louisville. Looking back on last season, what do you think the, the baseball team needs to do better this season in order to be successful in 2022? Um, I mean, like you said, those big wins show that against the um, 
the really good teams uh, like the Louisville and Georgia Tech show that we had we had a good group of guys with talent and that we are you know coached well I think it's just we all just need to uh, buy into what the coaches talk about um, every day and uh, you know really just listen to the coaching staff and if we can do that and everyone's fully bought in and wanting to win like together uh-huh. um, you know we have more than enough talent to win uh, yeah. the conference this year for sure um, maybe the most talent that I've seen in my four years now uh okay. pretty i would say easily and um i mean if we if everybody just uh buys into what all the coaches are saying then i think that we'll um, we'll figure it out this year for sure and we'll like where we're at at the end i was gonna say y'all um they when COVID actually hit i mean y'all had a pretty good it looked like a pretty good record going so far i mean i know it was only like a month or so into the game to, to baseball season but Y'all were doing very well and everything. So, um, but uh, so this year will be y'all's first. It, well, is this y'all's? Y'all played in the Ohio Valley uh, this past season. It's hard to, because it's hard to remember because you know y'all are in the spring and most other sports are kind of spread out differently. So this year will be y'all's first year in the A Sun Conference. Um, will it feel different or will it feel weird playing in a new conference against? new uh new opponents that you're going to see more frequently um i know about weird but it will definitely be like maybe a bit more like exciting and fun um Mm -hmm. and a new challenge um i think that like the general i uh feeling of moving into the new conference um from our team is more (laughs) like an excitement thing it's not like a this Mm -hmm. is going to be weird or um Mm -hmm. you know like we're afraid or anything you know it's more like a like this is awesome and uh you know we're we're looking to make some noise in in the first year nothing wrong with that um have the coaches had you and your teammates do anything different in the off season to prepare for going to a new conference um yeah a lot of new guys were brought in this year and um so they i'm sure they were doing their thing and then a lot of the guys who returned, um, coach had us uh, staying here on campus instead of choosing to stay here and um, and lift and do a lifting program where we can focus on um, making strides physically, getting where we needed to be, um, focus on nutrition and not have to, um, you know, go play um, a full summer ball season this summer um, and, you know, kind of lose – the time in the weight room that we needed to progress so um you know that coaches put a, put a huge emphasis on um you know getting our bodies where we need to be and um you know i think that that we can already see this fall that that's paying off for sure okay. so was there anything outside of that was there anything that you have tried to do in the off season to get better individually uh yeah definitely i've been i like I said, I was in the weight room um, all summer. I didn't play summer ball. Um, that was a choice that I made to, um, with co- the coach's uh, advice, but also to, um, you know, because I knew that I needed to get physically uh, stronger, first of all, and uh, a little bit more, you know, quicker and um, <clears throat> just in better shape generally. Um, and, uh, so for me, it was it was just um, just getting stronger, like adding muscle, and um, you know trying to become the best person that I could be. You know, I don't want to look back in a couple of years and you know start taking my workouts like super serious and everything, and think you know imagine how good I could have been at baseball if I had been in this uh, type of shape. So I'm trying to get uh, to my peak physical shape right now and. Um, so that that was pretty much it for me, as well as working on my my swing and throwing and all that. Okay. Um, so, I'm not sure. Did y'all have? Were y'all allowed to have fans last during last season, or was it kind of like a limited capacity? Um, uh, yes, we were able to have fans. I think it was it was limited, um, but it was still uh, you know like half the stadium or whatever. Okay. 
So what, how do you, I, I'm, I'm, I have to imagine uh, that it'll feel nice having a full crowd this year, hopefully, all things considered. Um, Cause I know, I know y'all, y'all didn't really get to play when the pandemic first started because everything got shut down. But I have to imagine playing in front of fans is a way more exciting than playing it without fans. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, we went, we opened at Georgia Tech, and they had, um, they had like, I think it was like half the stadium or less than that. Mm -hmm. So that was disappointing, but it was still like incredible to play there. And then we went to places like Tennessee. I think they had full capacity, and that was, you know, their fans were crazy. And then um, at home, we still had a pretty good showing, but mm -hmm. especially with the new, uh, brand new field that we have this year, um, you know, just everything that's going on with our program, new conference. I'm sure fans will be uh, hopefully excited and, and playing in front of a bunch of fans will be, uh, will be definitely a lot better than last year when, when there wasn't that feeling. And, um, you know, I, I think everyone's really excited about that. One thing I've noticed about EK, sorry, EKU athletics is um, for the most part, fans seem to always be excited to show up and, give their support to the colonels and everything. So I have no doubt that our fans will show up and give you guys a good home field advantage and everything. But for my last question, what are your hopes for the Colonel baseball team this upcoming season? Um, I think my hopes align with pretty much everybody on our team. Um, I can say that with pretty much full confidence this year uh, that, you know, we, we want nothing other than, to uh, play in a regional this year, to win the conference, and um, that's the only thing on our minds. You know, we don't we want to be, we want to hear our name called in the the regional selection show, and um, you know that's that's what that's what coaches are talking about, and you know that's not we don't think that that's anywhere uh, beyond our reach this year. Well, I uh, have enjoyed allowing you allowing me the time to get to know you and a little bit about yourself and about the baseball team. I wish you and the Colonel baseball team, nothing but the best of luck and the best of health in this upcoming season. And that's all I have for you. And I do appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thank you for having me on. I'm going to have to be a big fan of the Colonel report from here on out. I appreciate it. I do definitely do appreciate that. You have a great day. Appreciate it. You too. All right. Well, everyone, that will be it for the Colonel Report uh, this week. Uh, uh, I will be talking to you guys here soon, relatively in the new in the future. Thank you.